15 live. Hello. Good <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. How are you? Fine, thank you. We were asking, teacher, we were asking about you because I'm, I'm here. <laughs> I didn't know. The teacher is late. <laughs> I've been, I've been, I've been waiting for you, <laughs> and then I, I lost you. How are you guys? How was your weekend? Uh, what do you do? Where did you go? What places did you did you visit? Did you do anything special this weekend? No, I have to work I in my case, work. teacher. I have to work in my clinic, and um about eight hours hours and uh, yesterday um yes <laughs> and yesterday i have uh some visits in my house and i had to prepare some sandwiches for them i am not um, rest yesterday oh you didn't have you didn't have minutes to rest yesterday that's too sad can, can you hear me can yes. You, can you all hear yes. me? Yes. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Awesome, guys. Anyways, guys, uh, that's great. And how is uh, how is your platform? How's the platform going? For me, it was I'm finished for the sex section. You finished the first section? Yeah. Yes. I have a problem with that meter. With uh, which one? And the letter, uh, the exercise C. Exercise part C part two. Yes. And that's from the first section? Are you still talking about the first section? Yes. All right. For me, it was clear, but I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, we'll see. Uh, let me share the screen right now, guys, and we get started, okay? All right, we're gonna we're gonna actually you know what let's leave that at that at the end because we do need to get started with the presentation right i'll do the answers from the platform uh before we leave the class okay that's what we're gonna do all right very good guys so anyhow uh all right so today guys we have a very special topic to talk about and we're gonna talk about simple past and Present perfect, okay? Which is the topic that you're gonna see in section two, all right? So anyways, guys, uh, uh, let's talk about that, okay? So we're gonna go over the formation, right, of simple past and simple present. Uh, the difference be the difference be the differences between them both. And we're gonna have some speaking activities, okay? All right. So uh, who would like to help me read, guys? <clears throat> me, teacher. Go ahead. Uh, introduction. Welcome to the, the Ultimate Grammar Showdown. Today, we will compare present perfect and simple past to see which one comes out on top. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right. So uh, the ultimate grammar show then, right, to see which one comes out on top. Right. So uh, let's talk about present perfect. Right. <clears throat> so what have you heard about present perfect, guys? What do you what do we use present perfect for? Is when you begin. You need to when you begin use... an, an action. And you continue in the present. Very good, right? So, right, we start an action in the past and we continue in the present. What else? What else have you heard? Teacher. Tell me, tell me, yeah. tell me. Uh, the present perf is, uh, is using by, um, when when I when we don't we don't have any specific time. All right. And so when we don't have any specific time, uh huh. Okay. Um. um for example. Um. Uh, 
when we use uh, the the verb in present tense, simple present, present perfect. Okay, when we use the verb in present, perfect, in present perfect. Okay, all right, very good, guys. So thank you very much, guys. So I want you to check this out, right? So it says present perfect is a verb tense that connects the past with the present, okay? Mm -hmm. That is what we use present perfect for in simple words, okay? It's a verb, it's, it's not a verb, guys, right? It's a tense that connects the past and the present, okay? And that's what we, we use uh, usually, guys, you know, present perfect for, right? For example, guys, I have eaten breakfast. I want you to notice something here. Right. Uh, I want you to notice. Mm -hmm. That's okay, Sandra. Right. I want you to notice that we are not giving a specific time, right? Mm -hmm. And that's we're gonna see more about it later, right? But we're not giving a specific time, right? Or she has traveled to many countries, right? We're not, um, we're not giving a specific time either, right? So I have eaten breakfast, or she has traveled to many countries. Right. So um, how do we form it? So what, what is different here that in simple past, for example, what's something that we don't have in simple past? The verb in present perfect is participle. All right. So yes. Okay. So we have we have the verb right here, which will be in past participle. Okay, what else do we have different here? Uh, you use the auxiliary is has and have. Mm -hmm. So we have the auxiliary have, right? Or has if it is third person. Good job, right? We're gonna see more about it, right? But yeah, this is basically you know, the, the basic formation of, of the both, right? <clears throat> so person perfect, guys, is just to describe something that started in the past and continues in the present. Somebody mentioned that before, right? Something that started in the past and continues in the present, or it might have finished in the past, but it has some sort of connection to the present, okay? So this is, so this is what we use it for, okay? All right, so let's have more examples here, right? So we, we, we talked about, you know, um, we talked about the, the structure, right? So, so how do we, um, so how, how do we form it? So we will have, right? We can say, for example, yes. the subject, right? Cheyenne, Cheyenne will always be the subject. <laughs> Cheyenne and then what? Having or has, yes. Has, yeah. right? So yeah, okay, right. Has the very participle. Okay. All dance. right. Past participle. Has danced. Has danced. Okay, Has danced. danced. Um, shaking all the body. <laughs> Jen has danced, you know, <laughs> a lot <laughs> throughout the hey, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Throughout the years, right? Okay. Years, right? So yeah, just, just an example, not 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 dreams, right? Not your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Cheyenne has Cheyenne has uh, danced a lot throughout the years, right? So that's that's what we got. Okay. All right. So I, I like the I like this example, right? Um, because it has, you know, the complete structure of simple present, right? So, um, so yeah, okay, so uh, I know that you know the structure, we're not going to go over that, okay, um, what we're going to go over here, guys, is the fact of uh, the use, right, so I want you to notice, because in real life, right, because we're learning, you know, in advanced things to show how are you going to connect this to simple past, right, so in real life, how are we going to connect, you know, I mean, um, simple past, you know, with, with present perfect, right? So I said Chan has danced throughout the years, right? But can I say, guys, is it possible for me to say Chayan, let's see, or Chayan, right? Well, 
Choyon, right? Choyon, can I say, let's use some red, right? Can I say, um, Choyon has danced at 8, 8 a.m.? Can I say this? No. No? No. Are you sure? No. Sure, yes. sure, sure. All right, very good. All right, I'm I glad stand. that you're sure. Yes, we I cannot stand. say this. Exactly. Right? We should be using the past tense here. So I want you to notice something, okay? With with past with present perfect, we're not gonna use specific time. Okay, you can mention time like throughout the years, right? You can talk about duration, but you cannot give me specific time. All right. So that's something that we cannot do. If that is the case, we should say Chien danced at 8 a.m., right? Why? Why do you think this is the case, guys? Why do you think that it doesn't sound, why do you think it doesn't make sense for us to say has danced at 8 a.m.? Why not? Because he's continued to do that and because the activity is finished at 8, 8 a.m. Because the activity is over, right? So sometimes, guys, the activity can be over and you can still use present perfect, but it has some sort of connection to the present. In this, in this case, you know, that is not the case, right? So you have, you know, you have the present and then you have the past over here. Right, and then you got the future over here, right? So, when you use, you know, when you use present perfect, the action might have started here, you know. So, you know, I don't know how old Chan is, but let's say 1970, right? And then you got 1970, you know, nah. 80, you know, 90, and then you got 2000s, right? The double O's. All right. Anyways, so Cheyenne, right? Cheyenne danced here, you know, but, but, um, so is it danced, right? So does he still dance? Yes or no? Does he still no. dance? Yes. He still gets. Yes, he still dances. Right, so he still dances, right? So that's, okay, so the action, right? He, the action started in the past and has an effect in the present, right? In few words, guys, in few words, okay? If you want to say, if you could define with one word what present perfect does, you could say present perfect talks about experience, okay? Present perfect experience. talks about experience. experience. Okay, so that's what present perfect does. It talks about experience. All right? Let me give you another example. And you notice, right? You notice how it has an effect in the present, right? So we cannot say Cheyenne has danced at the end because that would be, we would be inferring that Cheyenne finished the action, right? So let's say that was. it was 80, well, let's say that it was 80 a.m. here, right? So the action started here, right? So he was dancing, right? So he danced here, right? And so he started maybe at 7 a.m., right? So yes. he wakes up and he doesn't even brush his teeth, he doesn't take a shower. The first thing that Chan does when he wakes up is dance, dancing, right? <laughs> yeah. So, so that's the first thing that he does, right? So he started dancing at 7 a.m. and he finished dancing at 8 a.m., right? So in that case, you use... Was. You, use, you can you use, use was, dance. You can say was dancing, yes, but that is past continuous, right? Continuous, yes. Yes, right now we're using, you know, we're using a uh, simple past, right? 
So, so GM dance, you know, dance that ADM, right? So we started here, right? And we finished here in the past, right? Yeah. yeah. Now, if if it has an effect in the present, we will say that. Oh my God, we'll say that uh, that that will still continue here, right? Now, we said that we use this to talk about experience, right? For example, um. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Amilcar, have you ever traveled to another country? <clears throat> good evening, good evening, everybody. Uh, okay, I have tried to travel to other country uh, and uh, since um, yes. two years ago, more or less. Two years ago, all right. Uh, so see, okay, hold on. You said uh, I have uh, more or less uh, thirty years ago. Uh, thirty uh, 30 years go ago to, or thirteen yes, years ago? I'm sorry. I want to go to the United States, but uh, the immigration uh, took me in the in Mexico. Okay, got it. Okay. <laughs> okay. I have traveled. Yes. I have traveled to Mexico, okay? I'm going yes. to say, okay. I have traveled to Mexico, okay? Tried you All tried right. to travel, yes. <laughs> well, well, he traveled to Mexico. I mean, he was in Mexico. Right? Okay. <laughs> All right, very good. Very good, right? So, uh, right, that is experience, right? Yes. Uh, right. Hey, yes. Now, now, right now, I can huh? I can say that, that uh, there are... Uh, uh, good people in, in Mexico because uh, all people uh, help you when when you need help. Oh, nice, nice. That, that's okay. great, man. That's, that's really good. All right. Nice experience, right? Nice experience. So you could say, you could also say, you know, I met, I met nice Mexican people, right? Very good. Okay. Um, what else can I say, guys? Okay, what what kind of experience do you have? Uh, let's see, Rafael. What type of what type of experience could you share? One experience from your life, please. Rafa. Oh, okay, all right, got it, got it, got it. Well, I think they came in the microphone. All right, all right. We're gonna give more, we're gonna have more examples while you fix your microphone, don't worry. Uh, Walter, Walter, could you please share one of your experiences? Okay. Uh, I remember some experience when I was child, I enjoyed that situation. For example, I have I have eaten, eaten uh, jocote leaves with, with tomato, lemon, and tortilla, I don't know was uh, my pastry favorite when I was child. Okay, all right, so hold, hold on, hold it, hold it, hold it. You're, you're talking about my favorite food. No, <laughs> no well, okay, hold on, you, you had what, I'm sorry? Yeah, uh, so, jocote leaves with lemon, <laughs> tomato, and tortilla. Okay, I'm sorry, I thought that you, <laughs> No, tortilla with milk is my favorite one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no. <laughs> Not how cold the leaves, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. So, so okay. So you said okay. For example, I have, 
Um, no, hold it, but, but I needed to, okay, try to form a sentence with, with present perfect. Because you can say, I've, I have had hocote leaves with tortilla, right? All right, that, that would be a way of expressing experience. Or, or what, I'm sorry? Tortilla, salt, and lemon. Okay, yeah. Tortilla, <laughs> tor tortilla. Uh, and, and chile chiltepe too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, tortilla, salt, and lemon. Teacher, okay. we me. can use have and had. No, well, well, yes, but they're working in different ways, right? If oh, you yeah. notice, if you notice, right, I have traveled to Mexico. I have, I, we're using have as an auxiliary, right? This is the auxiliary. The verb, the verb that follows afterwards is not an auxiliary. It's called what? It's a past okay. participle now. Huh. Exactly, right? So because, guys, because, right, if we talk about the structure, we have the subject, right, plus the auxiliary. You can have have or you can have has, right? Then you have the, right? Then you have the past participle. Right, and then you have the compliment, right? Now, I, I don't like saying the compliment, guys, because the compliment is very general, right? But yeah, I have worked, and let's say that you can follow this by a noun, or you can follow, I have uh, worked, um, well, it's, let's say a noun, right? You can use, I have worked, or I have traveled to many countries, now let's let's just compliment, yeah, because we have way too many options. So, what to follow, with, right? But but yeah, this is basically subject. You know, the auxiliary have or has in the past participle. So in the example, you know, I have had many hokote leaves, right, in the past. So in this example, right, we're using we're following the structure, right? The subject plus the auxiliary, and then this is what? Past participle. This, this is the past the participle. The past participle. I have had, right? All right, that would be the verb in past participle. Okay. All right. So is it clear, guys? Is 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 uh the explanation on present perfect clear? Can we move on to simple past? Yes. All right, very good. So and now guys, simple past describes an action that was completed in the past, okay? And it finished in the past. I got you, Rafael. Got you, thank you, thank you so much, okay? So what the difference, right? So hey, you know what? This action started in the past and finished in the past, correct? <clears throat> now, we're usually going to add ed to regular verbs using the second or use the second form of, of irregular verbs. What we mean, guys, is this, okay? We have something in, in English called ed endings. Have you heard about that? Yes. Right? So unlike present perfect, we are not going to use past participles, okay? So for example, all right? <clears throat> so you have present perfect here. Mm, what would be an example of a past participle? Let's think about, for example, the verb C, right? C, we have C, which is the, the base form. We have, what is the, the the second form of the, this verb, guys, in the past. So, 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 not so, not so, not so, so, so right? So, 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 right? And then we have 
you know, this is the past form, right? And then we have the past participle, participle form, in. all right? So in. the past participle form would be seen. In. Okay, all right, that would be seen. So past, so, so base form, in. right? See, past participle, I mean, simple past saw and past participle seen, right? So we have the third, form of the verb right so in with ed in this guys right we're talking about the second form you can say base form right or then second form and you can call this the third um, form right um, okay so for ed endings for ed endings <laughs> you can say for example the you have you have regular verbs and and also for the third form, right? So you have regular verbs and you have irregular verbs, right? So regular verb would be what? Work, for example? What, what would be? Worked, yes. The, the second form would be worked, right? Worked. And, and the, the third form? Third form, worked, the same. Worked, worked. the same, right? Right, very good. I'm not gonna have to explain that to you, right? And then we have irregular verbs, right? So for example, here, what? What would be another irregular verb? Begin. Begin. Okay, begin. so we have begin. We have. Begun. <laughs> begun, begun. Uh, begun is in past participle. Begin. Yes. Begun. So begun. we have begin. Begun. We have began. Begun. Began, right? So, anyways, okay, so this is how we form, you know, um, a verb. I mean, a sentence in, in simple past, right? So if we take a look at examples, right? So we're going to have a subject. Give me any subject, guys. I was, okay. See? Hey, let's, let's, you know what? Let's do more, this more interesting, okay? Let's see if you can see the subject. Mm -hmm. um, Where is the sub? Where is the subject here? See, you seeing you. Is it is it you? Seeing you. Seeing you. Yesterday. You uh, my house. Think about it, guys. Think about it. I'm gonna give you exactly zero dollars if you guess right. Saying you, yeah. is this simple pass? Is, is this a sentence? Hold on, let me please it in the white word. Okay, all right. So, you tell me, guys, is this simple past or not? Saying you yesterday opened my eyes. See, yeah, it's the subject. So, where's the subject? I want to know where the subject is. Mm, it sounds like a gerund. Sounds subject. like a gerund. No, but when you start, see, yes, mm -hmm. it's a subject. See. Yeah. Seeing, seeing is the subject. Are you sure? Yes. Seeing. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, you is the object. Mm -hmm. You is the object. Yes. Are you sure? Seeing <laughs> you. All right. We can break this down in a lot of ways, guys. You have to learn. You have to know a lot about grammar if you want to break it, break it down, right? So you can have a gerund, for example, here, right? Yeah. Seeing would be a gerund. And we say gerunds work, work, work as nouns, right? And then we have seeing you. You is an object pronoun, right? Okay, and we say that object pronouns, right? So it's we know that it's an object pronoun, right? Yeah. Uh, and then yesterday, what would be yesterday? Yesterday it's is talking about what? Adverb. An adverb. An adverb. Why, why, why is it an adverb? Yeah. Yes, it's time. because he's talking about seeing, right? We seeing is a verb, so yes, it is indeed an adverb. adverb. Yes, uh, all right, okay. So, anyways, guys, all of this, all of this right here, right now, guys. Oops, 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 oops right? Hold yeah. on, all of this right here, all of this, okay? Absolutely, like these three things right here. Oh my god, I wanted to do <laughs> adverb there, but whatever. Whatever's right. So listen, guys, all of these right here, 
subject. Exactly. There okay. you go. There you go. Okay. All of this is the subject. Okay. All of this is the subject of the sentence right now. Okay. Seeing you yesterday is the subject. And you can if if it is easier for you guys, okay, try to think about Cheyenne. <laughs> you can say instead of seeing you yesterday, you can say Cheyenne, right? So see, now check this out. I'm substituting a subject for another subject, right? So instead of saying seeing you yesterday, open my eyes, I can say Cheyenne, open my eyes, right? See, seeing you yesterday, open my eyes. Cheyenne, open my eyes, right? Do both sentences make sense, yes or no? Yeah. They do, right? Yes. yes, so see, why? Yes. Because, hey, you can you can substitute, right? A subject for another subject, right? So in this case, guys, this whole phrase is working as the subject, okay? All right, so no. That is so, a yeah, noun phrase. This is a noun phrase, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So we have the subject, right? And this is the structure for simple past. And then we have the verb in second form. Or we can call it verb in the past, right? And then we have, you know that my is an adjective for eyes, right? But we're not going to go over that. My eyes is the no. object of the sentence, no. right? However, we're going to call it the compliment, okay? But yeah, it's an object, right? Compliment. Possessive is. Yeah, my is a possessive adjective for eyes. Eyes is a noun, which is the, the object. We're not going to go over that, okay? It's just my eyes is okay. the, the compliment, okay? Subject, verb in the past, and compliment. Uh, and <laughs> I'm saying this because instead of saying my eyes, you could use another, even another phrase, you know? But yes, guys, even a sentence like this, seeing you yesterday open my eyes, is considered a simple past sentence, right? And it's very important that you understand that part because uh, if I say seeing you, right, this is not present continuous, guys, right? You cannot say, oh, that's a present continuous tense. No, it is simple past, right? Seeing you yesterday opened my eyes. I couldn't even say, guys, can we make this longer, guys? Try to think about another longer sentence in simple past than this. I could say, I don't know, you know, um, I could say, I don't know, what, what, could, what could we say, guys? You could say a lot, a lot of, um, a lot of fortune, a lot of fortune I waited for the one who found the treasure, right? You could say something like this, right? A lot of fortune I waited for the one who found the treasure, all right? Is this a sentence in simple past? Is this a sentence? Is this one sentence? Where is the subject here? Where is the fortune, subject? A lot, a lot of fortune. A lot of fortune, right? So this is the yes. subject, right? Because we can say Cheyenne, right? Yes or no? Instead <laughs> yes. of a lot of fortune, we can say Cheyenne, right? When in doubt, think about Cheyenne, right? And then we say, I waited, right? And I waited is the verb in the past, right? So we got the verb and the past for the one who found the treasure. So what is for the one who found the treasure? The compliment. All right, this is the compliment, right? If you want it to be like more, oh, teacher, this is a preposition. A preposition. Then we got an article. Then we got yeah. uh, another and noun here. Then, then we have a relative uh, pronoun, pronoun, right? And, and this right here is a relative, a relative plus, right? We're not gonna do all of that, right? But yes, okay, so you, you know that uh, we can break this down even more, right? So we are going to call this the compliment. Why am I showing you this example here? Because in 
uh, we say the compliment, guys, because in this example right here, we said that my eyes. Notice how the compliment can be very different, right? You know, do you notice that? They can be very different. Yes. Right? So that's why we say the compliment because the compliment um, talks about something, something more, right? Something more complex. Okay. So that's it. Mm -hmm. So anyhow, see you yesterday, open my ass, right? The action finished. So simple pass, guys. We'll always talk about an action that finished, okay? Uh, now, there is something very different from simple past and present perfect, which is, hey, I can give specific time. I can say, hey, I ran into Dua Lupe yesterday at 8 p.m. You know what, let's say, I mean, we can say yesterday, right? But I ran to the Lupe at 8 p.m., right? But I cannot say I uh, have run into Dua Lupe at 8 p.m., right? So is the first one correct, guys? Is this one right here correct? Yes or no? The first, yes, one. the first yes. one is the right. Yes, this is correct, right? The second one. The, the second, second one is not. Why not? Mm -hmm. Because because of this, guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a specific right? part. That Ex exactly. Or well, you need to use the 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 the, the word for or since. Sin or for. Yeah. Well, yeah, you can use that. That's another topic, but yeah, you can use since or for. Yeah. Right, but yes, guys, okay, so right now I wanted you to understand the difference between them both. Okay, so let's go back to the presentation here. All right, do we have any questions so far, guys? No. All right. I, I get confused, teacher, when you With use what? a simple past, when you use a, a was plus an adjective. That is, uh, a, that is a simple past. I get confused when you use only that. Was plus adjectives. Was can you please give an example? Like for example, know. she was beautiful. Yeah, it's a simple past. Yes, it's simple past because you have you have the subject right, and then you have the verb in the past. Mm -hmm. Yes, verb to be. Yes, yeah. in I mean, the past is was. Yes, this this is a compliment too, man. Yeah, I got confused because um, you use was or were when you use a, a, a past continuous. Yes, but that's that's because right. So, so yes, in past continuous, right? You can say she was dancing, right? Yeah, yeah. But if you're not gonna use a continuous, a continue the continuous form of the verb, right? So you can say you can say she was dancing, right? Yeah. Right. And this is not simple past. This is past continuous. Why? Because you have the form. You have to think about the form, right? You have the form, yeah. the the verb be plus ing. Okay. Mm -hmm. She but in this case, it's right. uh, only auxiliary was and were, and using another verb. Yes. If yeah. hold on. All right. If you have if you have be and ing, this is past That's continuous, it. right? Continue. But if you say she was, she was aware, for example, she was aware that you were here, for example, right? She was aware. Okay, so you have was, right? You have the verb be. But in this case, this is not working, right, as the auxiliary. And this yeah. is the thing, guys, okay? Yeah. All right. The auxiliary for, all right, so I'm going to. Let me go back to the whiteboard here, right? So good, good question. Good question, right? So guys, okay, notice this, right? What is the auxiliary for simple past? You know this answer. Did. Did. All right, the auxiliary is dead, right? Okay, so let me ask you something. What is the auxiliary for past continuous? Was and were. 
was, were. Okay, was very good. So you have, you know, the auxiliary. Or be was and where. and where, right? So if I say he, you know, he was late, right? Was is not the auxiliary here, okay? Because you cannot say, hold on. Yeah, we can say, was he late? But if you say, guys, okay, if you say he was, he was late like that, right? You can use was, right? And you can use was or were here, like the auxiliary. But the only difference, guys, the only difference that you're going to find here is that this is going to work. Okay. Well, you can say a noun or you can okay. use an adjective, right? In this case, guys, is it an adjective? Yes, yes, adverb. yes right? Adverb. Is it an adverb? Adverb. Yes. Adverb. Yes. Adjective. Right? All right. It's an adverb, right? In this case, it's an adverb because adverb. it's modifying. Is modifying was right. Uh, if we say she was beautiful, in this case we have right. An adjective. We have an adjective because we're talking about the way she was. Right, she's she describing her. Right. Uh, if we say you know he was he was here, right. That well, that would be an adverb. If you say he was, he was Cheyenne, right? Let's talk about <laughs> he was Cheyenne, right? <laughs> Not very creative, I'm sorry. So he was Cheyenne, right? So Cheyenne would be a noun, right? But again, okay, so the structure doesn't change here, right? We're still using uh, either an adverb, or an, ad uh, an adjective, or we're using a noun, right? But we're not using the ing form now. If we if we do okay. use the ing form, guys, if we say, for example, he was dancing. Okay, now you can tell that this is a continuous form, right? And therefore, this is past continuous and not simple past. <laughs> so, basically, if you want to determine if it is past continuous or simple past. If the verb that follows the verb B is, is, is an ING, then that is past continuous. Did that answer your question? Yes, teacher, thank you. All right, very good, very good, okay. He was dancing, what, what does it mean, Tom? He was dancing is past continuous. Oh yeah, but at the end, uh, down you wrote something, but I didn't understand what. No. Oh, that's, you mean okay? That's okay. Oh, this is the continuous form. I'm sorry, I was not. Oh, continuous. yeah, the continuous form. Yes, okay. I'm using I'm using a mouse, guys. Excuse my handwriting, right? Anyways, <laughs> all right. So, uh, so for example, guys, the main difference between present perfect and simple past is their time frame, right? When something happened. For example, I have lived in New York for five years. Notice that you can say for five years. You can talk about the duration, the duration, right? For five years. Versus I lived in New York 10 years ago. It's the past. Or you could say five years ago, right? So check this out. And the first sentence, okay? And this is a very, a very big difference, guys. Do yes. I still do I still live in New York? If I said I have lived in New York for five years, do I still live there? Yes or no? Yes. 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 The answer is live. yes. I still live there. If I said, right? If I said I lived in New York for ten years, I it's mean, fast. I lived in New York ten years ago. Do I still live there or not? No. 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 Right. That is a very big difference, right? So when, see, so I still live in New York. If I said I have lived in New York for five years, right? Versus I lived in New York for 10 years. I mean, I lived in New York 10 years ago, right? I am no longer living in New York, right? And that is the biggest difference of them all, okay? Right. So let's do an activity before we leave, guys. Um, 
we're gonna um i'm gonna help you guys with the platform in the last five minutes right since since we started at since we started a little bit late because of me guys right um we will be here five minutes more if you allow me okay so uh let's go with the speaking activity number one all right i want you to share your weekend guys using present perfect and simple past so for example you can say uh i watched the movie on saturday hold on i watched the movie on saturday right yeah. versus i have gone grocery shopping twice this weekend so you can say you know what this weekend i watched the movie on saturday and then uh i remember that i've gone grocery shopping twice this weekend okay you can combine them if you want right i mean but as, as, as long as you know you're using it correctly now do not try to give me sentences like i washed my car i watched the movie i cleaned my house no i mean just have a conversation on what you did this weekend okay sounds good all right, so that's what we're going to do, guys. Okay, let's talk about our weekend and let's go. Let's go. Hold on. Break at rooms. All right, let's go, guys. Let's join. Hey, Jose. Hi, man. Um, hey, teacher. Good evening, sir. Good evening. So, somebody's supposed to be here with you. Hold on. Let me know what, let me see what happened. So, Yesenia is, not Yesenia. Um, yeah, Yesenia is supposed to be here, man. I'm going to get you somebody else, okay? Because okay. I don't know if she's in the class. Yeah, she's in the class, but I don't know why why she is, is not here. Okay. All right, but anyways, I'm I'm bringing people over here. Okay. All right, so... Now Daniel is supposed to be here. There you go, man. All right, let's practice, okay? Simple past. Yes. But do you use a, 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 a keyword since for present perfect? Really? Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. I live. You live. You, I, I live. I live. You have live. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah. that is, is present perfect. Yeah, but you say... Yes. Simple present. Simple. simple present is I live. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. Uh, my case, I went to the supermarket um the last Saturday. Simple present. No, simple past. Simple past. Okay. Yeah. I, lived, I remember simple past and present perfect. Okay. I lived in, in Buena Vista uh 40, 40 years. Okay, I have studied in English for two years. Ah, really? It's difficult to try to understand. Difficult, difficult to try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um, I went to the church. I went to the church the, the last weekend or the last Saturday. Um, last weekend. The last Saturday. Yeah. Oh, last oh, Sunday, yeah. sorry. Yeah. On a Sunday. Was it oh, yesterday, in this case, yesterday. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. I, went, I went to the church yesterday with my wife. Um, for me, it's an experience uh, because I had gone to to uh, by car to church. Because 
I have a friend to to drive uh, in the in the traffic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, three, uh, yes. three months ago, I had I have an experience that I I ride them. I have tried them. I have ridden a motorcycle. Oh, yeah. Huh? Ridden. Ridden. Yeah. Ridden. Ridden. Ridden a motorcycle, yes. Ridden a motorcycle. Uh, your world. Yes. Okay. What about your sentence? <laughs> My sentence is well, okay. um, I have uh, I have traveled to the US and Canada. Uh, several times, you know, uh, so that's why I I I have not on uh, many states of the United States, for example, Miami, Orlando, Los Angeles, uh, New New York, uh, Buffalo, uh, Chicago, Kentucky, uh, what else? Um, Washington Trump. too. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Houston, <laughs> Dallas. Well, I have gone to to many states from the United States, but um, uh, also I I have gone to to I have been yo he estado en I have been to Canada. Uh, I went to Toronto, Montreal, and yeah. so I I met the Niagara Falls. You know, I don't know. Yeah, yeah good. Good. It was a very nice experience for me, you know. Okay. Uh -huh. It uh, was a very nice experience. It was a uh, past tense, right? Yes, it was. It was okay. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I live one, one in thing, Mexico. One thing that I was gonna mention. I'm so sorry for interrupting, girls. Uh, one thing that I was gonna mention is you say I visited the Niagara, the 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 Niagara Falls, right? Not not met. Because you meet yeah. people, right? You meet people, oh. you you get to know people, right? But if you go to a place, you say visit. I visited you, the Niagara Falls. I, visit. okay. oh. I visited, yeah, of course. <laughs> That's oh, okay. it. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. <laughs> welcome. The Niagara Falls. I live I live I live in Mexico. And that stuff. <laughs> Hi teacher. Hello. How are you hey. doing here? How are you? Uh, we're trying. Hailey has some problems with her microphone. So she's writing. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Well, uh, you can you can start. Um, so let's let me hear you. So what kind of um what kind of um experiences do you have? Um, but like, like, I'm sorry, like, what do you do this weekend? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, on Thursday, I had, I was, I was resting the whole day. <laughs> huh? And uh, I just spent the day uh, here at home. Uh, yesterday, I went to the church. And after that, I visited a new restaurant in Comasawa. But it's a little confused because... Uh, it makes me think that if I had to use the have have, it was because it was a long time ago. I don't know. <laughs> okay, uh -huh. it's a little uh -huh. confusing. Uh -huh. How can I rephrase that? First of all, it's 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 a little confusing. Mm -hmm. I'm confused, confusing. Right? How can you rephrase what sentence? I'm sorry. Uh, I visited a new restaurant. No, that's fine. I visited a new restaurant. Uh -huh. What What was the confusing part? I'm sorry. It's just that I wasn't sure if I had to use the I have visited. <laughs> or uh, just I, visited. I have visited. Well, you can say I visited re different restaurants, okay? But you can say I have visited different restaurants or you can say I visited different restaurants. But if you say I visited different restaurants. It means that you no longer visit any more restaurants, right? Like that is already over. If you said I have visited many restaurants, it means that you might, you know, you might still visit some restaurants nowadays, or 
you might visit, you know, some restaurants in the future. Mm -hmm. So that's the difference. Okay. Uh, in this case, you can say both, right? But it depends. Mm -hmm. Are you still visiting the restaurants or, you know, have you finished visiting restaurants, right? Mm -hmm. um, Ailey says, I have worked in my weekend. No, I worked. That, that would be, I worked this weekend, teacher. That would be the right way of saying it, Ailey. All right. Anyways, let's go back, girls, because it's okay. almost time. Thank you. Right. Thanks to you. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I think that I, I am only. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm muted, guys. I'm muted. I'm so sorry. My okay. teacher. My teacher. Yeah, I'm so the sorry. The teacher is there. <laughs> yes, there, there. There is a problem between the computer and the, <laughs> and the chair, right? Okay. All right, hold on, hold on. I'm going to. Okay, anyway, so. Um, so anyways, guys, uh, do we have any questions on simple present and versus, uh, I'm sorry, simple past versus present perfect? No, I think so. Everything's right. clear, teacher. All right. Is there any question from the platform that you want me to, from section one? Oh, yeah. From section yeah. one, right? Yeah. Section two, we're going to see that tomorrow, right? Okay, I, I, I had problems with the exercise in one, one, two, I think, but I, I talk, uh, um, mm -hmm. I don't know, Ingrid, I think, okay, but Ingrid uh, fixed them, okay, because I have a problem with the exercise and two, three, and four. But I think that is the platform because yeah. I I saw the exercise and, and I I saw good, but I don't know why. All right, very, it, good. It sure. well, so. very good. Remember guys, remember that we see the exercises in the class, right? Uh, and every class is recorded. So, mm -hmm. You can see all the, the answers after you finish, right? You can see all the answers if you go to the YouTube channel and watch, you know, the class again, right? Um, yes, the yes, exactly, right? So so tomorrow, right, we're going to go over the answers from section number two, some of them, right? And, um, okay. but yeah, we'll, we'll see them all, right? You can, you can, guys, you can work on the platform, you know, and move forward with it. It doesn't matter, right? You can finish it. But come to class, right? So you can learn so like something new, right? So, anyways, um yes. did you learn? Did we learn anything new today, guys? Okay. Yes. 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 yes teacher. All right, yes, great, teacher. great. Okay. All right. Are you having fun? Yes. 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 Of course, of course. <laughs> yeah. Good job, right? When we yes. <laughs> Hey, by, by the way, guys, yes, the playlist was sent to your email. If you don't have it, I think somebody sent it to the group, to the WhatsApp group, right? Yes. Um, in but, the third but, yeah. class, in the third class. In the third was. class, right? Yes. In the third class, okay. So. I send that la, the link, Cecilia, Selena. Yes. All right, very good. So, in guys, the um, okay, so, so then, all right, so then, guys, thank you so much for coming, and I will see you tomorrow, guys, okay? Okay. Tomorrow so we'll start early, teacher. guys. Bye. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye, teachers. Right. Take care, please. Take care.